Uh, hi, my name is Tian. I go by TMAC. I work at ThoughtWorks. I am a DevOps, QA, Dev, Jack of all chain type of thing. Uh, this is going to be my first time doing this, so uh, let's hope I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Where are you from? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. I'm from Canada, actually, up north, Montreal. And I do like weather and cold. <laughs> sort of, not really. All right, here we go. Okay, so, oh, so, uh, no planning, exactly. So basically, I have my, my colleague, their BAs, they love to talk about no estimates. That, for, that works really well in my life, because I don't estimate, I don't plan to do anything, I just basically hit, roll with it. Um, this is the background of my, don't know what city, could be Kansas City, I don't know, right? <laughs> this is my first, yesterday was my first Atlanta in, the, in, in Kansas City, and to be honest, I fly a lot, um, and the airport really, Bottled my mind. I got out and some people were like, "What? Are you already at the gate? Like, wait, where's TSA?" Is it the, and then yeah, and then you have like, um, apparently there's a great university too. Um, I believe there's a, one of our sponsors here, at like Kansas University, um, that looks a lot like one of my, one, my classes when I went to university. Just well, uh, less white people because I went to Canada. Um, and this is the streetcar. Uh, this is great because um, streetcars are. One of my favorite things to do when I uh, when I go to multiple cities, uh, Montreal, we don't have a street cars because well, we have way too much stone construction and potholes. Toronto does have a bit of more. Uh, this looks more like a graveyard, so that's pretty much what Montreal was way back when, when they have a street car before the government, well, sorry, not the government, but the, the mayor decided to break it down because it looked really ugly, and also because of the snow. Uh, Toronto has something like that too. Um, and then you have other people while they're waiting for the streetcar, they're like, okay, so um, what am I going to do? Okay, let's sort of call an Uber, um, but uh, nobody's picked, uh, my Uber driver isn't here, so I'm trying to call him in where he is, and I'm like, come on, come on, come on, I'm really late, and then obviously my phone, and then the phone stopped working anymore, so I'm like, crap, we have to look, find this really real old thing that I'm not even sure what this is anymore. Okay, okay. I'm not that young, I still know what this is. Um, Although the one I had was actually rotating. That was actually really mind-boggling as a kid. Um, and then, so they have this Google Fiber thing, which, by the way, in Canada, we are about 10, 10 to 15 years technology behind the world. So we don't have any of this fiber thing. Uh, we've only got LTE a couple of years back. Uh, we don't even have um, um, one of those, like, money thingy. Uh, but what we do have is electricity, because Canada, uh, <laughs> Canada is the biggest producer of water. So at Quebec, we actually export and sell electricity to the states until we're a certain person with a hair like that might build a certain wall and then prevent that, any of that. And then what you have to do is you have to jump across that wall to actually take them to, to basically plug in your, uh, the, um, the wire into there so you can actually get some power out of it. Um, and then if that does not work, then you're going to try to get uh, power from the, from the cloud, this cloud thingy that everybody thinks is the next big thing that will, uh, that will basically solve world hunger. Um, and then the prediction basically is that, uh, I'm not quite sure what the prediction is, um, basically it's going to become no more of these things, that's for sure, or actually no, because that's what it is, because of what people call a cloud is, cloud is just someone else's laptop. So this is actually the cloud that you are, because it's just basically a bunch of machines plugged together. And then uh, this is, then let's go back to Kansas City, because we're gonna go, probably tonight, we're gonna go to the historical district, this, again, first time in Kansas City, so I have no idea where we're gonna go tonight. This arcade might just be in some ranch or this awesome place with like arcades and everything. And they need to call me. Hopefully, there'll be drones and we can play around with drones, take pictures of it because, well, drones are cool. Um, some other people might think they're this big brother um, looking at you. Again, Panda, we don't have any of that thing because we don't really have cool toys. Uh, this, I seriously have no idea what this thing is. It looks like something I can see on top of a hotel. Um, it looks like maybe a, a Really? <laughs> a theater. Let's say this is a theater where you can actually, um, and a greenhouse where you can actually go stuff. And then this is baseball, which unfortunately Canada, the Blue Jays lost. So we are no longer in the World Series. I believe this can um, Yes, the Royals. Who actually, I believe did really well because I have a friend that lives in Kansas City and she talked a lot about it. And, uh, oh, the Smart City Challenge. Oh, great. Awesome. But other things that Canada will never ever have either. <laughs> So yeah, so basically our wires are probably just maybe with the 
powered by a, a beaver or something. Uh, yeah, so basically Smart City, from what I've been told, uh, it's basically the whole city is going to be um, connected by the internet, internet of all things. Um, uh, but that kind of scares me, because if you've played the game a Watchdog, then anybody can just take a phone and then hack it. Which basically, if you can hack it, and then what will happen is that your barbecue will then become like this, and, you will, and then it's going to just burn because somebody will just hack your barbecue, since internet of all things, it's going to take up the whole world. And then your chicken will actually be rubbery, rubbery, and then you're going to look like a clown. And then, well, I'm going to speed through, and this is the end. <laughs>